Sabbath, children. Happy Sabbath too, Teacher Carla. Today, I'm going to read our Kindergarten Sabbath Study Guide. We are now at Lesson 3, and it is entitled, Caught in a Cage. Who wants to read the memory verse? Yes, Clingy? The memory verse says, Let us not become weary in doing good. Galatians 6, verse 9. Very good, Clingy. Who wants to read the message? Yes, Wiggly? The message says, We can do good even when others aren't nice to us. Very good, Wiggly. Has anyone done something unkind to you? What did you do? David shows us how to do good to someone who is mean to us. The soldier scrambled down the mountainside. He slipped on some gravel. Then he got his balance and ran on. Saul and his soldiers are coming, he gasped to David. King Saul is coming with thousands of soldiers. No longer a boy, David and his 600 men quickly climbed up to a big cave where they could hide. The cave was very dark and still. David and his men crouched behind big boulders. They barely breathed. David and his men had been running away from King Saul and his soldiers for months. King Saul had made it known he wanted to kill David. Why? Because King Saul was jealous of David's victories in battle. The people loved David. They even made up a song about him, comparing him to King Saul. King Saul didn't like that at all. Suddenly, a man walked into the cave. A very tall, big man, Saul. The king turned and faced the entrance of the cave. He squatted down and pushed his robe out behind him. Look, one of the hiding men whispered into David's ear. The Lord is giving you a chance to kill King Saul. I cannot. David replied, For God has made him king. I cannot harm him. Then David took his sharp knife out of his belt. He crept slowly and noiselessly toward King Saul, then reached out and cut off a piece of the king's robe. David crept soundlessly back to his men, but he began to feel bad about cutting the king's robe. When Saul stood up and left the cave, David followed him. My lord, the king, he shouted. Saul turned around quickly and saw David standing at the entrance of the cave. My men and I could have killed you, David said, but I will never hurt you because you were chosen by the lord. Look! David shouted as he held up the piece of material he had cut from the king's robe. This proves that I could have hurt you. Is that really you, David? Saul called back. You are a better man than I am, he said, with tears running down his face. You have been merciful. I know that you will surely be the king of Israel after me. Just promise me that you will not hurt my family. So King and his 3,000 soldiers began the long trip back home. The Lord was happy with the way David treated Saul that day. 
Now let's recite the memory verse with actions this time. Follow along. Let us. Let us. Not become. Not become. Weary. Weary. In doing good. In doing good. Galatians six verse nine. Galatians six verse nine. Thanks for watching and God bless. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Bye.